Today we have a special guest, everybody. I think you're gonna find this super interesting as we pick his brain a little bit about branding. So stay tuned for that, but first, let's roll the intro. This is about the combination of creativity and business. This isn't an aesthetic decision, this is a business decision. Like I said today, we have a very special guest joining us in the studio. He doesn't have a lot of experience, not in too many years in the branding industry, but he's got some really important insights on branding that I think we're gonna learn a lot from. So today I wanna introduce you to Liam. Hey Liam, how are you doing? Good. Good, can you say hi to the camera? Hi. Hi, how old are you? Three. You are three years old. This is my nephew, Liam. And Liam, today we're going to talk a little bit about branding. Do you know what branding is? No. No, no idea. All right, Liam. So today I'm going to show you some pictures and you're going to tell me what they mean, okay? Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Here's the first picture. Can you tell me what that means? Have you ever seen that picture before? Yeah. Yes. What is that picture? It's a picture of, um, of a tea place. A tea place? Yeah. yeah, okay, so you get tea there. Is there anything else that you can get at this place? No. No, just tea? Yeah. Yeah, do you ever visit this place? No. No? Go to next place. All right, let's see. What about this? Do you know what that is? Letters. It's letters, but do you know what those letters go on? Chocolate. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's on the chocolate bars, isn't it? Okay, let's look at the next picture. What is that? What do you get there? Cheeseburgers! Cheeseburgers? Oh my gosh, that's so fun! You do get cheeseburgers there. Can you get anything else there? No. No, just cheeseburgers? Yeah. Do you get french fries there? Yeah. Yeah, are they good? Yeah. yeah. I think so too. What about this guy? Do you it's know what that is? It's letters with an arrow. It's just letters with an arrow. That's so silly, isn't it? Do you think? Do you know anything about this company? No. No. We don't get anything from them. All right, we've never seen that one. We'll go on to the next one. What about this one? Kelly's. Kelly's? Yeah. Is that maybe Wendy's? Yes, Wendy's. Wendy's, there we go. You're close. So what does Wendy's have, bud? It has food. Food! What about this guy? What is that? A castle. It is a castle. Do you know what that is? Do you know what castle that is? No. Do they ever have that castle uh, on a TV show that you watch? No. No? You've never seen that? We didn't get the Disney. What about this guy? Have you ever seen that guy? It's Target! It's Target! How'd you know it was Target? I just because I been there before. You've been there before, and what do they have at Target? They have Dog food. Dog food at Target. Do they have anything else other than dog food? No. No, yes. just, just dog food. Well, Liam, you wanna tell the camera goodbye today? Goodbye, camera. Goodbye, camera. You wanna come back and do this again sometime? Sure. Look at more pictures sometime? Yeah. All right, Liam, well, thank you so much for joining me here today. You've been a great guest to have on the show, and I will have you back again sometime. So obviously, it's really fun to have a three-year-old look at different logos and tell us what he thinks those logos mean. But what does this have to do with anything? Like, why does this matter? What can we take away and learn from this experience? Well, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that the purpose of a logo is to be unique and memorable so that we can take up a little bit of brain space in our audience's mind. So what I loved about this exercise is that it demonstrated that there are brands out there that have the power to take up a space in a customer's mind and the customer, the audience member, in this case, was a three-year-old child. This three-year-old has seen these logos and experienced these brands well enough that on just seeing their marks, on just seeing their icons, he already knows a little bit about what they do. And he's created a mental packet in his mind, so to say, a, a place to store information about that brand when he associates the, the artwork, the logo mark, 
with his experiences at that store. For example, when we brought up the Starbucks logo, he associated it with tea because he's been in an experience where he's seen that mark and he's witnessed somebody ordering tea or what he thought was hot tea. So he started to already associate in his mind that this logo, this icon is a place where you buy tea. This is where there's an immense power in branding because when you have the power to actually take up space in somebody's brain, that's a powerful avenue for you to build your identity, your personality, and your uniqueness around. So remember when you're building a brand that you really are trying to reach the goal of taking up space in a customer's mind, being unique enough and memorable enough that people remember their experiences that they have with your company. And this works from a small company all the way to a massive corporation like what we were looking at today because you can still have the power and the uniqueness to take up a spot in people's minds as they interact with your company more and more. Thank you so much for tuning in for this video and if you liked this content, please like the video and comment below if you learned something or you thought it was interesting and I will see you all in the next video. Just bump.